Hello, hello, hello. Hobby Drifter here again with another review of some recently released Japanese stuff. This is the Transformer Perfect Encyclopedia. Um, they've been doing a whole bunch of these perfect guides for everything from uh, uh, figures to model kits to video games. And I've been buying a ton of them because I love them. Great way to enjoy stuff without having to take up all the space of displaying it. So this uh, Transformer Perfect uh, Super Encyclopedia was released um, towards the end of November uh, 2019. Uh, as you can probably tell uh, from the art style, it is from the people who make uh, TV magazine. You can tell they, they'd love to fill up the, the covers with, with everything. And there goes Andy. Hi Andy. So let's get the, the OB off real quick and take a look at this full glorious Glorious artwork we got here on the cover. You got everything very well represented in here. You got your G1, your Cyberverse, uh, Beast Wars 2, movie stuff, Transformers Go, and JRX from Car Robots, uh, Robots in Disguise up here. Everything, everything is well represented. Um, enjoy this cover, you know, take it in, because this is pretty much where the, the good times end. Um... I should point out right for the bat, um, while this video is not made for kids, please don't, please don't find me, this video is not made for kids, this book is very much for kids. It is aimed squarely at kids who might have gotten into Transformers with the movie or with Cyberverse or recently, and it's just a, a quick, quick primer on the main characters from most of the uh, Transformers uh, movie and animated fiction. Let's get a quick look through here. It starts with the movies. Movie one. Movie two. That sound is Andy attacking my wall. Andy, get off the wall. Uh, movie three. Lost Age. And in a, a nice thing, it is very uh, up to date so far. Even Bumblebee got some nice stuff from the Bumblebee movie. Then we go through uh, go through G one. All of these have um, what I believe is mostly uh, existing art pulled from different places, uh, with possibly some some new art thrown in here. You can see up here. There's some of this beautiful uh, Studio Ox artwork. Uh, and if you're looking for a a really good uh, art book, the Studio Ox art book is probably the the best one that you're going to find. Uh, then we've got you know the, the the main cast from you know Fight Super Robot Life Transformer. We have the combiners, things like that. Uh, going into Transformers 2020, you got a nice mix of box art for some of this stuff more original art for others. Going through, you know, Headmasters, uh, Master Force, which gets a couple of pages. Uh, Victory. And this is what bothered me, just my, my little OCD thing here. Uh, here's Transformer Zone, and you've got, uh, you've got your Diatlas over here. Uh, your Sonic Bomber, but um, I've gone through this a couple of times. I don't, I don't see Road Fire in here anywhere. Which is like only three real characters in the entire series, and they just flat out ignore them. You know, part of part of Big Powered uh, Beast Wars, Beast Wars Two, Beast Wars Neo, Beast Wars Transmetals, Car Robots. Uh, Micron Densetsu, Micron Legend, uh, Armada, Energon, Beast Wars Returns, Galaxy Force or Cybertron, then Transformers Animated, which was a, a big deal here in in Japan when it came out. It got a really nice product launch, really good time to be a fan, um, especially if you waited for the stuff to go on clearance. I was able to get most of the the animated stuff on clearance. On Amazon for about 20% of the original MSRP, which, yay. Uh, Prime, 
Transformers Go, which was a really cute, short-lived line uh, full of combiners. And then you got uh, Transformer Adventure, Transformer Cyberverse, and that's it. Um, yeah, this book uh, has a sticker price of 1,800 yen. It's, again, it's, it's aimed at kids. It's for kids who are getting into Transformers and want to know a little bit about the history of, of the characters and the stuff that came before. Um, so, I mean, for uh, Japanese-speaking kids who are new into Transformers, great book, very cheap. Uh, if you're an adult fan... Uh, inside or outside Japan, you could probably give this one a miss. Um, after after importing it, you'd probably be paying upwards of 30, 40 bucks for it. And there are much, 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 much better options available for Transformers fans with, with the means to import stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's cute. It's probably not going to stay in my collection. I'll probably donate it to, to one of my schools or something. Um, to encourage the next generation of uh, young Transformers fans. Um, I, I don't need this, really. Um, it, it's, it's fun to look through. There are some glaring omissions. It's a cute thing. You might want it for your shelf. Cover's nice. Cover's really nice. Uh, all of these uh, TV magazine publications have gloriously overpacked covers. Anyway, I've been the Hobby Drifter. Uh, thanks for listening to me rant about this thing for a little bit. Happy hobbying, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye!